So, next question, calculate the size of theta. They want us to calculate this size here. This guy. Theta. Yeah, so there are different ways you can approach this. I'm not sure if mine is very far. Let's see. This is 10.5. They want the value of theta. They want the value of this guy here. Right? So, what I know, I know the gradient of this, of this line here. So I can find the angle of inclination here. Right? And I know the gradient of this line, which means I can find this angle of inclination here. Angle here, let's say it's alpha. So if I know alpha, I know the vertical opposite angle, uh, which is this one here. And if I know beta from that, in, uh, from that, if I know, I find what this is, I know the angle on a straight line is up to 180, then I will be able to find this guy here. If I find this guy here, I know what this angle is. So I will know two angles here. This angle and that angle. That means I'll be able to find this angle here. And now I know that the angle is on a straight line is up to 180. If I know what this is, then I'll be able to separate this from 180. That's the one that I, I think is easy for myself. So let me explain how I'm going to approach it again. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I'll say, listen. Uh, I have this gradient here. I will be able to find this angle of inclination here. I have this gradient here. I will be able to find that angle of inclination. Find this angle is the same as this one. Knowing this, I know angles on a straight line A is up to 180. I will find what this is. Then, it's the same as this. Similar logic. Then, if I know this two, I will be able to find this angle here. And then now, since this angle is on the straight line, I will be able to find what that what I'm going to do. So I'm saying, okay, M is equal to tan theta, right? So I'm starting for, uh, I will start with, what is this? ST. Start with ST. M is equal to tan theta. So our M there was 3 over 4, right? Uh, sorry. No, it was 1 over 2. The gradient of this line, it was 1 over 2. 1 over 2 is equal to tan theta. So, theta, tan, 1 over 2. Actan, 1 over 2. So press your actan, 1 over 2 on your calculator. Act, shift, tan, 1 over 2. Is 26.6 so it's 26.6 so I know this angle here 26.6 which is the same as this one here 26.6 then we go to the next one okay so now what you are missing what we're missing is one find beta right so we say, okay, uh, m is equal to tan beta. What is our m? Our m is the gradient of this line nk or sk, which was minus 2 over 5. We're given this minus 2 over 5 is equal to tan beta. Then when you're here, we to find the reference angle for our tan. So the reference angle, uh, your reference angle is equal to arc, uh, arc tan, which is tan. Arc tan 
two or five. You don't include the sign, because the sign is telling you which quadrant this is. So which is equal to actum two over five is twenty one point eight. So now your reference angle is twenty one point eight, and the time is negative. Which quadrant is time negative? That is the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant, right? And we know that our angle here is an uh, obtuse angle. So it's greater than 90 degrees. So now it makes sense for us to say our, our beta, uh, which is, is on this beta of ours so on the second quadrant. So it's going to be um, 180 minus our reference angle, which is 21.8. Right, so 180 minus 21.8, which is equal to 158.2 degrees. So we have our beta here to be 158.2, and we can find this line here, this one here, because they are adding this angle and that one add up to 180. So to find this, it will be this angle here is called 180. Minus 152.158.2, which is equal to uh, 21.8. So this angle here is 21.8, which is the same as this one here, because vertical opposite angle, 21.8 here. So now we can find what this angle is, because the angle in the triangle adds up to 180. So to find the angle here, we should make the angle N S M is equal to 180 by minus these two sides. 21.8 plus 28.6. So 28.6? No, sorry, it's 26.6. So M is equal to angle S inside this triangle is 180 minus 21.8 plus 26.6. This is 131.6. It's this angle, triangle, 131.6. Then, you know that this angle and that one add up to 180. So to find what this one is, you must separate this from 180. So, our angle that we asked uh, theta would be equal to 180 degrees on a straight line minus that. Then we'll be left with this. 180 minus 131.6, which is equal to 48.4. So our angle here, our theta is 48. Point four.